If you want a new gaming monitor that's fast, sharp, rich and vibrant, but most importantly all available for a very good price, then look no further as the ViewSonic XG270QG is arguably as good as it gets. And this is a very interesting display because it's actually one of the first to use the next generation of IPS panels that have a one millisecond response time, which is not only gonna give you the clarity and the sort of image quality that you come to expect from a really good quality monitor, but it also has all of the gaming smarts that we used to only see from TN panels. It also sits in the sweet spot for top-notch PC gaming as it uses a 27-inch Quad HD display with a refresh rate of 144Hz but it's overclockable to 165. This means that it's actually relatively simple to drive by today's standards and when paired with a suitably high-end graphics card, you can get the smoothness and sharpness that consoles could only dream of. But before we get there, a quick word from our sponsors, Nvidia and Asus ROG, who are showing off their epic RTX and GTX graphics cards. Now, high frame rate gaming not only brings with it lower latency, smoother animations, and better visibility, but it can actually bring a genuine advantage over your competition as quicker reaction times only increases the chances of making that game-winning strike. You can pick up an NVIDIA Friends Win Games worthy graphics card, starting with the mighty GTX 1660 Super. So if you want to learn a little bit more and start your high frame rate journey, you can do with the links located down below. And a large chunk of you are probably asking the same question, which is, haven't we heard about a monitor like this before? One from LG, the GL850. And you'd be right. And the first thing I wanted to do when I got this in for testing was to actually make that comparison. So what are the differences? Well, as far as I can tell, this actually uses the exact same IPS panel, but it's slightly more expensive. And so while image quality should be almost identical across the board when they're properly calibrated, there are actually a few other differences that you're gonna to have to take note of. Most significantly is the way that adaptive sync works on both displays. As LG is actually rated as G-Sync compatible, so it will work with consoles, Nvidia, and AMD graphics cards alike, whereas this ViewSonic monitor actually uses a true G-Sync module, which will give you a slightly smoother experience if you're on team green. There is sadly a bit of a hidden downside to this, however, as it not only brings the cost up a little bit, but the port selection actually then gets nerfed by the devs, with HDMI sadly losing that 2.0 bandwidth and having to make do with 1.4, and there's actually only one HDMI port rather than two that you'll find on the LG. So the takeaway is actually pretty simple here. If you're rocking a setup like this, where you're just using an NVIDIA graphics card, nothing else, then this is definitely worth considering. Whereas if you're gonna be running maybe a AMD graphics card, and you're also running a console or a mix of the two, then you're probably gonna to want to go for that LG as it is just more versatile. Drilling down a little bit deeper into the XG270QG, I actually have to take my hat off to ViewSonic for their build quality, as this really ain't no cheap knockoff. It is a beautifully crafted bit of kit, with clear design cues that really do have the PC gamer in mind. The stand is a prime example of this, with all the adjustments that you ever need, and then a smooth transition between its states. Cable management is also very well thought out, with a cutout that hides the cables remarkably well, in addition to a couple of small quirks with things like the optional mouse cord bungee, and then a handy dandy headphone stand. There's also some side shields that can be used to stop light reflecting off the screen, which would be very useful if you're located right next to a window, but in practice they're not really big enough to make a huge difference. And as there's no top piece, it's not really going to help against light from above, so it's a good thing that it's always grey in England. Once I've got this monitor actually on my desk, I assure you, you do need to pair it with the right hardware to really unlock its true potential, shall we say, but when everything comes together, it's just like a dream. Everything is so buttery smooth, and it really does sort of remind you why you got into PC gaming, because the experience on this is just perfect. The one millisecond response time really does make a huge difference, and yes, you will need to tweak the overdrive to its maximum setting to really unlock this, 
but I haven't really experienced anything negative like ghosting or overshoot. The overall clarity to Apex Legends is just so good. And I've only really seen anything like this from a TN monitor or of course the LG GL850. You really do need to be able to get over 100 frames a second to truly get the most out of this screen. So while you could pair it with a more budget friendly graphics card, to be honest it only really makes sense to do this if you plan on upgrading in the future or you only play the older or less demanding titles or things like esports. It actually only took me around about an hour to get my first Apex win. Which yes, is mainly because I'm such an awesome player, but it's actually also because having a fast and responsive high refresh rate screen really does enable you to sort of reach your full potential. I probably should talk about the raw image quality of this display as well, because if you are going to be spending a fair bit of money on a monitor, you probably want something that has a great picture. And rest assured that actually it is great news here, as unlike gaming displays of old, this IPS panel is actually just as suitable for serious colour work as it is for gaming. And okay, it's no Apple Pro display, but for anyone that doesn't get paid to grade or produce some serious video work, you'd be dead impressed with just how rich and vibrant this thing is. There's no HDR support sadly, but in total honesty, unless you're going to be spending silly amounts of money, you probably won't be getting a very good experience anyway. Please don't buy the LG over this just because it supports a very lackluster HDR. Sit rep then. If you're an Nvidia gamer, then this is clearly a fantastic option for your new PC gaming setup. It's awesome. The main changes versus the LG are of course the fact that you've got that G-Sync module in, so you have a few changes there. It's slightly faster, 165 hertz. Build quality I'd say is ever so slightly better, stand is nicer, then a few gimmicky features like the hood and the headphone stand and things. So if these are important to you, then obviously it's probably going to be worth paying a bit of a price premium for. But at the moment, as the price gap is around about £100 or dollars, I'm not quite sure which way I would go because I don't want to be tied in to just buying an Nvidia graphics card, but then again, you're getting a slightly better experience. I guess the good news is that it doesn't really matter which way you're gonna go, both options are great options, and it's pretty much gonna come down to how big that gap of pricing is at the time of filming. But that's what I think anyway. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you would go for. If you do wanna pick one of these up or see the price difference, I will leave my Amazon affiliate links to both this and the LG down in that description below. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out our sponsors Asus and Nvidia and their awesome high frame rate graphics cards. If you're playing multiplayer, then frames win games. And getting the fastest graphics card is so important. Asus actually sell the GTX 1660 Super from just £209, bringing high refresh rate 1080p gaming to the masses. Find the graphics card that's right for you down with the links below and start winning your journey today. Just go easy on me if we play together, okay? Don't forget to like the video though if you've enjoyed it. Seriously, it really does actually help out a lot, you wouldn't believe, so I'd appreciate if you can hit that button. And of course, absolutely smash that subscribe button. I think that's what the kids say these days. If you do want to see more videos like this, other PC gaming videos, setup videos, all of that good stuff, but I will actually leave uh, the review for the LG in the end screen of this video, as well as all of my other monitor reviews. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.